Uh, Megan, okay. Well, I will say, first of all, I like Megan. I think, now this is a real opinion. We'll get into more of the weeds of my funny, silly joke take. Right. That I thought yeah. were interesting. But my thing with Megan, uh, first of all, man, she's she's a hottie boom yeah. Super hot. <laughs> Um, sick. Five dollars for a quarter. If you ever asked me, well, oh, boy, and I'd like some change, sir. <laughs> yeah. You well, here's lot. the thing. You're the prince of England. You're not the the only prince of England that ever married an ugly was that old Charles the second time around with that old Camilla Parko Bowles. I, yeah. That was totally a publicity move where he goes, Diana's dead. We killed her. That's a cover up. I got to marry an ugly woman. That's the only way out of this. You know what I mean? That's how you that's how people are going to say maybe he didn't kill her because his next wife was really ugly. If you get a hot wife after that. There's a thing about Camilla that everyone knows. <laughs> the reason you're going to marry an ugly woman, because look at Charles and look at Charles's family. All he sees is ugly. Sure. Right. Mm-hmm. right. So to him, ugly is an ugly is be- just the crooked teeth and the skin falling off and the, the skinny bones father. Look at the red faced drunk. His, of <laughs> Charles he looks like a, he looks like Roger Stone. What happened yeah, to this guy? Does anyway. Right. You're right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he looks like Roger Stone climbing Mount Everest. <laughs> it's so that funny. whipping so- wind that's got his face all red. It's well, so funny because he did not win. Sorry, yeah, hey, I was just going to say that Mike has put up this picture of Charles and Camilla. The guy's got fucking 38 medals on oh. his suit coat. And it's like, what was what, what was what are those for, Charles? Like going to look at an airplane at a naval base. And they were just like, great job, man. You really looked that thing over. Uh, you really, yeah. you really sent the troops on their way. Here's a fucking you're a general now. This is my medal for finishing lunch. And this <laughs> yeah. is for my medal for yeah. mommy doesn't have to cut my food anymore. <laughs> yeah. And here's my yeah. medal that I just bought. This is just what I bought. I bought anyway. There are Boy Scouts with more valuable medals than exactly. the British family have been done them. <laughs> that have done more. Yeah, and you get that shit for learning how to tie a knot. <laughs> oh yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. It's like they give you an award, but he's like he was like, Thanks for waking up this morning. I'm meta <laughs> Charles, you Yeah. You. Yeah, anyway. And ugly. They- and another thing, uh, uh, going off what Greg said, going back to a point that you made in an earlier podcast, Brendan, is these British, some of these, these, I, I think the British people are horses. I agree with you, Brendan. You brought <laughs> that royal. up. And the I, royal. the royal family, that's why they I are British. That, she's American royalty. <laughs> so Don't she ain't, man, you got you to sit out, Greg. You, you disrespect our queen, our queen like that. Right. Or sit and out. Oprah. And Oprah. <laughs> my bad. Keep going. Keep going. My, my bad. They look like horses. Um, the they look like horses, so I think these people are half horse, three quarter horse. They marry other horse. They can't marry horses because that's illegal in our right. society. So they marry what's as closest to a horse as they can get. You know and what happened? Charles is with Camilla. They're <laughs> two quarter horses. Do you know what happened once? And well, I'm screaming. Crazy. I'm happy to scream. Do you know what happened once? Yeah. Uh, they, because they do look so similar to horses. And they, you know, the, 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 the sport of the royals, obviously, is right. polo. One time, uh, Prince Harry, his horse got on him. Because right. it, it was a mix up. It yes. was a mix up. And they go, that yeah. that's the man, that's the horse. And they just mm-hmm. mixed it. Neither of them could tell apart. They had to play the whole match. Horse, oh. horse on his back. They yes. put that picture in the Sunday Star. And the, and everyone just said, "What is this? It's just a man on a horse." And they went, "No, that's the that's not even the horse. That's Charles that's getting ridden." And even yeah. the public couldn't tell. Yeah, Nobody why tell. why is this picture of two horses on the front page? <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, now, and their names are even horse names. You know what I mean? You uh, the Duchess of Windsor. <laughs> you couldn't see that. You couldn't see that horse trotting down uh, Churchill Downs. Yeah, uh, their their uh, yeah. their kid Meghan and Harry. His middle name is. Mountbatten. Mountbatten. Mountbatten, yes. And it's Mountbatten. like if I didn't bet on that motherfucker <laughs> at the, over there on uh, over there at the at, at Churchill Downs, then fuck me, because I think yeah. I put ten dollars on Mountbatten to place. Yeah, I my do uncle they... lost a small fortune at the Meadowlands to Mountbatten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love they get names where they're like, oh, your name's Rick, but now you're in the family. You are now the Sumter of Finn. You will be known as the Sumter of Finn. You were Rick Mangielli, but now you are the Koken of Dwindleland. It's like, wait, what? I thought you were a real country. Yeah. Yeah. I was Dave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. But what I like to say is um, when I was in the car dealership, 
I went, hey, man, these are the features I want, right? I want power steering. I want the drivetrain. I want automatic seats, all that, right? And they would go, we don't have that, but we can get you in this model, which is basically that, but it's different. That is very much what happened with Charles and Camilla. Charles said, I'd like a horse. <laughs> and they said, well, we can't give you a horse, right. but here's the closest thing we can get you to a horse, yeah. Camilla, unless you want Oprah, but she's kind of hard to get around because that is also a fucking horsey bitch. I'll say that's a, Oprah's a horse of a different color because she's not a horse at all. She's a beautiful woman. Beautiful woman. I don't. You're lucky to get your hands this. on her filthy calendar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful woman. Beautiful. You're woman. getting freedom. You're getting freedom. I think that's what she was doing in the whole interview. You're getting freedom. You're getting freedom. <laughs> Everyone's getting freedom. How cool would that be if she said, "Look under your bench." <laughs> she gave them a couple cars. Cool. That would be so cool. Um, you're in, yeah, or she even her own crown. You're in the Oprah. You're in the Oprah. Of- kingdom now yeah man american royalty oprah tyler perry welcome 